slash slash slash. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play I Almost Said Pokemon. <laughs> Even after my hiatus, that still stands. My voice sounds very deep right now for some reason. Anyways, we're playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, so in the last episode, we entered the Great Deku Tree and got the Slingshot. So now let's uh, go around and play with this puppy. Okay, so what we want to do here is get rid of these Skulltulas by uh, smacking them down with the Slingshot. Now you got to be careful because there's one way up here that you will not be able to get past on uh, otherwise. Well, maybe if you're really good, but I'm not. So, might as well try and just knock that guy down. Also, a thing that I find interesting, Kid Link is wearing a skort. A, that is, half skirt, half shorts. Like, I don't know, that's kind of what it looks like to me. It might just be shorts on the N64 graphics, but it looks like a skort. Or, or maybe it's just a tunic. He's got a Scortunic. Scortunic. That is that is what we will be calling it. A Scortunic. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so something interesting. Well Okay, you may have noticed that I have a sidebar. And there's a few collectibles on there. Uh, such as heart pieces and something called Gold Skulltula Tokens. Now, if you're confused about what that is, uh, then I will explain it to you in just a second, because we're about to get one. Okay, so... Uh, oh, here's a little secret. If you take fire, you can, light, you can light a Deku Stick, and if you light this over here, you open the door. Well, it's not really a secret, but some, uh, it's more of something required to do, but whatever. Alright. So if I raise these platforms by the, using the button and jump over here, uh, going to open this chest and get a heart. Blah, 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 whatever. Now this creature here is... You know what I, ha you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been using Navi to... Uh, to explain creatures because she can actually do that. Although for some reason it's not letting me like lock onto this dude. Oh well, whatever. This is a gold Skulltula. There are 100 in the game and if you kill them they will drop a gold Skulltula token. Now, uh, Navi won't say anything about this, but collect one. You destroyed a gold Skulltula. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Now, there are 100 in the game, and I will be doing my best to get every single one of them, as well as all 32 heart pieces. There's 32, right? I don't know. There's a lot, but I will be trying to 100% this game. I'll try to get all the bottles and do everything. Uh, that one on the left is only really there to get that Skulltula, so you can go over here. So yes, I'll be trying to get all the Skulltulas, all the heart pieces, all the bottles. I will be trying to do this. I cannot guarantee I will actually be able to do this. But I'll try my hardest. Alright, so open up this treasure chest and we will find... Let's see... A compass! Yay! What a compass does is... A compass is kind of like uh, the dungeon map, but what it will do is it will show you like items and stuff. It'll show you where you are on the dungeon and uh, treasure chests and where the boss is. See, we can see the boss is on basement floor two and it's right over there. We can see there's one more treasure chest left inside this dungeon. So uh, I guess I'll save. Not that it matters. I'm using save states anyways. I should probably stop mentioning I'm using an emulator. One LPing trick I like to practice is, even if I am using an emulator, I try to make it seem like I'm not. Just to make the game seem more legit. I don't know, that's just something I picked up. Over my, uh, I think it's creeping up on two years of experience uh, as a Let's Player. Okay, 
So here is a pretty tricky puzzle. What you actually have to do is you have to line it up and jump off of here and land on there. And the gold skull Tula hit me on the way down. Yay. All right, so I guess I can start uh, examining creatures with Navi. Dr. Baba, hit it when... Nah. Well, okay, we move Bioses. I'm going to read them. Deku Baba, hit it when it lunges you and, and it will stand straight up. Cut it quickly and get a Deku stick. All right, uh, that's just uh, one of many creatures that we will encounter. I completely forgot that. Forgot that Navi can do that. All right, uh, here is another Gold Skull Tula. Uh, there are three in this temple or dungeon. Uh, there's a reason I'm saying dungeon, and not temple, but I'll I'll tell you in a later part, a much later part. All right, so uh, that is two out of 100 Gold Skull Tula tokens. Man, I'm going to have, like, hundreds of sidebars. Anyways, this one you're actually not supposed to be able to get until you get a later item. But there is something you can actually do to get it. If you come over here, line yourself up properly, run and roll, you can jump over and get the Gold Skull Tula. You're actually supposed to have an item that allows you to retrieve uh, to retrieve objects from a distance, but we don't have that yet. We don't get that until a, a later dungeon. So yeah, but if you use that trick, you can get that right now. All right, so we hit that button and light up that torch, which hmm, it appears that if we expose fire to these webs, it'll burn them down. Hey, treasure chest. And a recovery heart. Cool, we actually needed it. Alright. Now, if we use some of the things we just learned, uh, the fact that Deku sticks can be lit on fire and that fire burns low webs, we can solve this puzzle. So we light our stick and go over there and... Oh, yeah. Water puts out fire. Hmm. Well, I suppose this is a puzzle game. This is quite the puzzle. All right, now uh, the act actually the uh, not combination. The solution of this puzzle is you have to come over here, light the stick. This puzzle can be pretty tricky the first time you attempt it. And there's an extension of the sandbar over here. If you jump over here, it's kind of hard to see. It's a little annoying. But if you jump over there, you can actually burn down the web, and then you can proceed. <laughs> Neat, ain't it? Ooh, uh, let's examine the Deku Scrub. Deku Scrub. It will hide in the grass. If you get close to it, it'll hide in the grass if you get close to it. Bounce the nuts it spits back at you. Alright. And Deku Scrub defeated. Well, he's still got feet, but he's bouncing around. Please forgive me, Master. I'll never do it again if you spare me. I'll teach you something cool. You'll never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. Do, do you think I'm a traitor? All right. Yeah, there is a little interesting thing that these de these Deku scrubs do feel really bad that they're uh, giving you the answers to like proceed in the dungeon because they're betraying. They are enemies, and... Oh, hey, Deku sees that. That's the ammunition for our slingshot. They do feel bad that they are... Eh, look, respawn. They feel bad that they're uh, betraying their brethren. So... I don't know, it's really interesting. Also, 23 is number one is a little mnemonic that he gave us. That always made me wonder, who is this 23? Is he or she... Why is he or she number one? Are there 22 predecessors to 23? And why are they not number one? Why is number one of 23 not number one? This is my question. How did 23 beat all of all else, including number one? Well, it makes sense. Number one is the prototype, or the first prototype. After you get into water, if you hold A, you can dive. I bet there's something interesting, uh, some interesting things underwater. All right, so yeah, basically uh, we have to go to switch dive and hit it. Um, but yeah, what? 
What about this 20... This uh, 23... I almost said 21. 21 is just 23's little brother. So, yeah. Uh, you're supposed to duck by crouching with a shield. Uh, by pressing R, I believe it is. Um, this is Skull Tula. It's soft belly is its weak point. So you have to stand here, wait till it turns over, and then slice it. But yeah, 23 is, is like I did say he or she earlier. Is 23 male or female? Is this is 23. Is 23 even American? Is 23 even from Earth? There are just so many pressing questions about this 23, and I I want to know. I want to know what about 23 makes him or her number one. So many questions that I wish to be answered. Why do I pull giant stories out of single lines of text in these things? Uh, because I'm ridiculous. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Uh, so this is me, Thrasho2, saying be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't.